good morning everybody once again we are live man this screen looks pretty dark so why don't you come join me as we do another daily devotion it is three minutes after 10 a.m. about to turn my radio down this is the 21st day of November 2018, Thanksgiving Eve. Don't even seem like it, but it's here. It's a coming. Boy, I tell you what, it's very pretty. It's still chilly, about 35 degrees this morning, but the sun is shining bright, and, and I see blue sky, which I haven't seen for a few days. So, so come join me. Good morning, Tammy. We got a um, just one verse of scripture we're going to look at this morning for our devotion, and then we'll kind of give you a couple more reference verses um, as we go through. Morning, Deborah. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi, Charlotte. We're going to look in First Thessalonians chapter five, verse eighteen, and kind of the Lord kind of gave me a thought on this. Hi, Leslie. So 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, it says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. And as we look at this scripture, if I would ask, the majority of the people probably would answer if I asked this question, what is this verse talking about? And obviously it would be to give thanks. And you'd be right, it talks about giving thanks, However, it also refers to something else that I want you to try to draw your attention to. Um, because, listen, we can go through the Scriptures, through the entire Bible, and we can see commandments where, you know, we are to give thanks unto the Lord our God. Um, we are to thank Him for His gracious love and kindness towards us. You know, that is a commandment that we need to thank the Lord. And But I want to draw your attention to this verse in Thessalonians 5.18 because I think sometimes this is the one of the most misunderstood verses of Scripture that we're looking. Pray for me that I stop skipping this devotion daily. I need this. <laughs> Jody will be praying. And just know that if you don't catch us live, you can always go on my Facebook page. It's right there on there for your um, disposal at any time. So, <clears throat> but anyway, when we look at the scripture, again, in everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Um, I, I've talked with people in the past, and, and I've studied this, and, and this is a hard verse for a lot of people because they don't understand it because of the very first word in this verse. I think people misses this. Because the scripture is teaching us that in everything, give thanks. And this, listen, we've got to understand that this scripture isn't saying for everything, give thanks. That's not what this verse is saying. We may have problems in our life. There may be diseases and sickness and, and, you know, tragedies that strike us. And Paul isn't teaching us that we need to thank God for the tragedies. God's not telling us that we need to thank Him for the diseases, diseases and, and illnesses that comes in on our life. We don't have to say, oh, thank you, God, that I've got cancer. Thank you, God, because, you know, I lost a loved one. That's not what this scripture is saying. He didn't say, for everything, give thanks. And, and hear me out. Don't click me off yet and say, well, this, this preacher is crazy. Listen to me before you make any comments or judgments on what I'm trying to teach you this morning. But this is, this, cause this is what we're looking at. Because we've got to understand that it's not God who brings diseases on us. It's not God who brings cancer or leukemia. It's not God who, you know, has, you know, that we maybe have a heart defect or, you know, diabetes or whatever the affliction may be. 
It's not God that causes house fires. It's not God that causes car or automobile accidents or train or planes or whatever. You know, it's not God. If you go into James chapter 1, verse 17, it says, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, which who is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. So again, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father. So we need to thank God, obviously, for all the good things. But when the bad things come in our life, we don't have to, uh, you know, thank God for, you know, people that, like I said, and cancer. I use that as an example because it seems like everybody, you know, is fighting cancer these days. You know, and we don't have to sit and say, thank you, God, that I've got cancer. That's not what this verse is saying. It's saying in everything, give thanks, not for everything. And, and that's where I want to kind of get close to together, you know, today. Um, let's look closely at the verse, in everything, give thanks. Give thanks to who? Give thanks to God. Everything that we go through, everything that we're in, we can still find a part of us to worship God. So in the good, in the bad, in the messy, in the ugly, in the painful, in the joyful, in the weak, in the strong, in the happy, in the sad times... We still should be able to find it in ourselves to worship and praise and thank God. We don't have to go to Him and say, Thank you, God, that I was struck with cancer. Thank you, God, that you know this happened and that happened. That's bad. Listen, we know that all good things come from God. There is a devil out there. There is an enemy who tries to destroy you. There is an enemy that tries to bring things against you. And listen, this isn't popular, but it's true. But there are some things that happens in our body and in our lives that is self-inflicted that we cause on our own. But most of the time, we want to blame the bad things on God and the good things on luck, and the devil don't get no credit for anything. Listen, we need to worship God, for He is a God of all things. In the bad times, He's still God. Don't you realize that circumstances in life doesn't change who God is? And I know that there are people out there today, probably even watching, that will worship God when the good things happen and the good times are rolling. But in the bad times, they can't find themselves to bring themselves to worship and praise God. But that's when we need to worship in God even more. Because, see, He's a God that is good all the time. He is worthy of praise all the time. We need to stop and thank God all the time. Because, listen, He is worthy of praise and we need to stop and, and thank Him. In our troubles, we can still thank God. Because He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. He will give us strength. He will give us help. He will give us deliverance. Thank God. Not because what He can do, but because of who He is. We need to thank Him. We need to worship Him. I had a conversation Last week, or um, some may know, but I had a co-worker that um, his house burnt completely to the ground. Lost everything. Completely lost everything. And I talked with him a few days ago, and he said, but you know what, I thank God. And I know what he was talking about, but some people would, would kind of be drawn back from that. Why would you thank God? Because your house caught on fire. But what he said was, I thank God not because of the house fire, but I thank God that they was able to catch it because he and his brother had went to work and, and was working out of um, out of town, and it just so happened the daughter, the young daughter, had seen the smoke and woke up the mother and the boy, and he said, "I thank God, not because of the house fire, but because they was they woke up and they got out safely." See, listen. We don't have to thank God for the bad situations that come in our life, but we can give God praise and thanks. <laughs> we can give God the praise and thanks because of who He is. And maybe He won't stop all the bad things from happening, but He will give us strength. He will give us a deliverance. He will give us help. He will give us comfort. He will give us peace to overcome these things. He'll give us these things to strengthen us. And that's why Paul was saying, in all things, in everything, in everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God. 
Let's worship the Lord, not because of the things that we don't have, but let's thank Him for the things that we do have. Thank Him for the mercy that He gives us. Because listen, we may be enduring and going through situations, but I guarantee you somebody's going through something worse than we are. Let's thank God for what we have. Let's worship and praise Him for the things that we have. You know, again, we aren't commanded to thank God for the bad times. But we can still praise God in our bad times. We can praise God for all things. Because he is good. Look in Philippians chapter 4 verse 11. This is Paul at the last part of the verse. And he says, For I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. Listen, no matter what comes against us, let us worship the Lord. Let us be content in the situation knowing that God has brought us through something once and he'll bring it through us, bring us through it again. Folks, listen, in all things... In all things, in everything that we go through, let us worship and thank God. This is the will of the Father through Christ Jesus. Let us praise Him. We're, we're on the hills of thanksgiving, and this is a season that we should be thankful. But I say this, every single day of our life, 365 days a year, 366 if we have a leap year, and let us be thankful every single day. Don't let a holiday force us to be thankful but let us in our heart be thankful every day for God is merciful and God is good so again our, our main scripture says that in everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you in everything you go through you may not like what you're going through but we still can worship and thank and praise God in all things this is His will. Listen, Lord willing, we'll be back on tomorrow for another devotion. I know it's Thanksgiving Day, but we're still going to have a devotion and thank and worship God. So have a great day. Share this video if you don't mind. And be thankful in all things because God is good. Love y'all. Thanks for watching. God bless you.